Welcome to DBL. Okay, so after 41 seasons and more than 8,000 episodes, Pat Sajak is about to make his final spin on Wheel of Fortune. That's at least the uh, one at the casinos. That's what I know, yep. And this is ahead of his final episode. Pat was interviewed by his daughter, Maggie, about it. Take a look. Last week of shows for you on Wheel. How do you feel? It's surprisingly okay. You know, this was announced a long time ago, almost a year ago, so I've had time to sort of get used to it, and it's been a little bit wistful and all that, but I'm enjoying it and taking it all in and reflecting on a great run. What is the secret to Wheel's longevity? I, I'm not quite sure. I do know that somewhere along the line, we became more than a popular show. We became part of the popular culture. And you're with us a lot, and, and people come up to us almost every day, sometimes in tears, saying, I used to watch the show with my, with my grandma now I'm watching it with my kids, or my kids learn the alphabet from your show, or my mom came from the Philippines and learned to speak English. We didn't intend any of that, and yet we've become this sort of cohesive bond between people and generations and families and friends. That's been awfully gratifying. Wow. So believe it or not, the pilot episode for Wheel of Fortune was taped back in 1973. And check this out. Originally, contestants competed to win fake money that they did, that they would then use to shop for prizes. That lasted until the show uh, over in, in 1989. Now, Chuck Woolery was the show's original host, and Susan Stafford was the original letter turner. Pat took over in 1981, leaving his job at the time as a TV weatherman. Vanna joined Pat a year after that and for more than four decades they've been an anchor in many Americans homes Wheel of Fortune was created by the legendary Merv Griffin using the inspiration from the game hangman which he used to play with his sister here's what Merv said about his decision to hire Pat and Vanna take a look Pat Sajak was the weatherman for NBC in Los Angeles and I used to watch the NBC News and he was the weatherman he always came on he always did how, how can you do the weather uh, be a weatherman in Los Angeles, you know. Uh, tomorrow will be the same as it is today. That's about it. Um, and But he had all these funny little things he'd do. I remember one night he came out and he had a bandage on his forehead. And he did the first part of the weather, went to commercial, and when he came back, I, I may be the only one in the audience that noticed the bandage was over here. He did that, I think, to keep himself amused because of the boring weather that he had to do. I love that. I had no idea. So what do you think of Pat's final spin? And why is this show such a staple in people's lives? What would you say, Jeff? Uh, I just think the history, it connects people, right? Generations connecting. You know, just seeing that, you know, makes me think of my grandmothers, yes. right? Watching. So I think it crosses generations. It crosses cultures. He just said it teaches people English, teaches people how to spell. So thank, you know, thank God we're talking about something that most Americans can agree on. Yes. Hey, Wheel of Fortune's cool. I don't care where I come from or what I look like. Wheel of Fortune, I remember that. I have a story about Wheel of Fortune in my life. So we need more stories like this. Pat Sajak is a staple. He's He's walking into the sunset. He still looks great. I'm glad Van is still part of the show, but it's going to go on, and Ryan, Seas Ryan Seacrest is going to crush it, I think. You think Ryan Seacrest will crush it? Everybody f feel good about that? I think he'll be consistent. I, I think that this is a show that, you know, the game and the contestants is bigger than the host. Yes. And I think that he is a classic host in that way, that it's not going to be become about him. But um, I love the idea that, you know, this was how we competed. Like, every night was family game night. We wanted to see who was going to, like, solve the puzzle first and who would have bragging rights. And, I mean, that's just such a feel-good thing. But Jeff was talking about watching it with his grandmothers, and I watched it with my grandmother. And um, a few years ago, we were in Vegas, and I, it was my grandmother's birthday, and I told Anthony, hey, we need to play Wheel of Fortune, the next machine. Well, the next machine was a high rollers machine, and it was $100. $100? Yes. And so I had a second thought, but I'm like, you know what? I said it. I'm going to do it. So I put $100 in. It was a spin, which never happens the first time. Never. And I won $1,200. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. And I was like, thank you, Big Mama. We cashed out. Wheel of <laughs> Your trip's so, yeah. paid for. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Yeah. I well, love Wheel of I mean, Fortune. I mean, I gambled that away. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Vegas with her. We, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listen, Pat Sajak has won the Guinness Book of World Records for longest game show host ever. Um, I also want to let you know, he matches his tie to Vanna Aww. and the dress. And I Ew. never knew this, but I picked that up. And then also, he was in Vietnam as a I armed did. force radio host. Wow. And he was one of the people to say, radio. Good, uh, it was, um, oh, good morning, Vietnam.
Tom, one of the, what? not the one Robin Williams yes. portrayed, but one of the very many. So he's also a, a veteran, and we owe him thanks for his service. I'm so glad you told us that. So, yeah, so really interesting guy. So I had very. no idea, because you don't get a lot from Sajak. But I always wanted to know the letters RST. LNE. Okay, she knew it. Yeah, everybody yeah, everybody does. Everybody yeah. does okay. Oh, you didn't know? No. I thought no. it was an A. Yeah. RSTLNE. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, we're going to end it on that.